gun. Welcome back to another episode of Bite of Moab. That's right, the G is silent. I am not. Today, we're playing GTA San Andreas, the definitive edition. Uh, right as soon as this finishes updating. Um, but I hope you're subscribing and I hope you're liking, commenting, sharing. Because that would mean a lot to this. Because I probably will get demonetized for this video. Considering the type of language and content that goes into it. San Andreas. So without further ado, let's hop on into the game. I will say one thing before I actually play the game. Um, it says it's playable technically. Yes. Um, if you buy the Definitive Editions Trilogy, you'll get this one, you'll get uh, three, and you also get Vice City. Uh, one thing to note is for each game, you will have to sign into your Rockstar uh, Social Game Club account. And that can be a pain in the butt to do, especially on a Steam Deck without using keyboard and mouse. And for one of them, I had, I think it was a Vice City that was trying to sign into it, and it just kept, the keyboard kept going in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. And it was weird glitchiness, so I wasn't able to actually sign into it. I don't know if that's the same thing with San Andreas or if that's just to that one, but sometimes when using third party launchers, you get some weird stuff like that. So. I'll pause this in here and let this finish up and we'll dive on to the game. Okay, so we finished downloading and we're ready to dive on into the wonderful world of Rockstar Game Services. <laughs> yeah, let me pause it. And we're back. So let's resume our game and see what we got. I will show you the options I have for the game graphics custom now uh, medium visual effects display mode full screen frame rate 60 resolution 1280 by 800 on taa plus or x bar high planar low detail material low off on off low ssao on off off on unavailable So that's it, and uh, let's resume the game. So I did a couple missions so far um, before I even had this video, just for fun, and to show you all how it plays. It actually plays pretty decently, and it does feel like a GTA V gameplay. It's, it's kind of weird, especially coming back to this game from the only playing the PS2 get versions. So see, it actually has the radio stations like you would find it in a GTA 5, which is pretty cool. As you can see, we're getting solid, roughly 50 FPS. Yeah, so we have 60 TDP turned off. But let's turn that on and see what we get. Turn to 10. If you turn to 10, you might get around 30 frames or so. So you might want to increase it just a smidge. I think the game as a whole has come a long ways since the the problem it had when it first came out. Oh uh, I wanna immigrate from here. Bird Street. Nice. I wonder how far I can run through here. Yeah, this is a, 
And this is the kind of gameplay you expect to see when you watch my channel. <laughs> Just CJ running through the train. Uh oh. Is that train coming through? <laughs> Pretty soon, yeah. I think I'd be uh, increasing my stats on this, I would think. Just do a lot of running and jumping. Yeah, in case you didn't know, I, I, I didn't think this through. <laughs> oh, almost got hit by a train. That would not be nice. Ah, uh, there's daylight. See, we I knew I could get there. <laughs> this one random dude on the train tracks. I know I've seen some weird artifact glitching right there at the map. I don't know why. You see those blue lines there? Might be hard to see. Yeah, um, the game runs pretty decently, I would say. You can go shoot. view distance is pretty good though it still looks kind of small because there isn't that much of a fog out there uh yeah i remember when playing on a ps2 that you could see out all over the place and it looked like there's an actual distance it was kind of pulling the silent hill 2 treatment where it showed fog only because of the limitations of the console and now you can kind of see everything and it makes the world feel a whole lot smaller than it really should feel. I mean, it's still large because look at the map here. It's a good sized map, uh, especially for an open world game. We gotta get ourselves some wheels. Cop car. Oh no. Oh boy. It's not looking too good. I think as a whole, the game is pretty fun to play and it runs really great on the Steam Deck. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Why is he just standing there? You get some weird stuff going on. It, you definitely get some weird stuff going on. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you can still run over people. This is basically the murder simulator. Oh my gosh. Hey, Naku. Uh-oh. Oh, look, a gun. 
Yeah, give me the money. Let's see, what else do I have? Oh, I've got a shotgun. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> uh, GTA Vice City. No, not GTA Vice City. GTA San Andreas people. Sorry about the confusion. Uh, yeah, it's a... Uh, that's the game. That's the game where you can just beat up people and take their money. That's all you got. Oh, you got a knife. Oh my gosh, he's brutal. It's your funeral, asshole. Oh my gosh. Dude, this is horrible. I mean, really, there's a murder scene later. Wow, that's... Be needing this now. Oh, okay. bitch. That's dark. Uh, you like the taste of uh oh. You think we gotta learn the difference between a rapper and a gangster. A rapper is someone who talks a lot. This is mine now. Stop with the running, pal. Move, I'm a damn dude. Oh my. Run away, bitch. I want to be alone with my bitch. Oh, what you doing, my wheel? Oh. Hey, you wow. Oh, Only on the Steam Deck, ladies and gentlemen. Only on the Steam Deck. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Oh wow, they, they really want to get me. Get the cops. Oh. I shot out of the window. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I guess I died. Okay. GTA San Andreas on a Steam Deck remastered, <laughs> definitive edition. So uh, yeah, this it could be pretty fun. It could be pretty entertaining. So, yep. With that, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit the like button, notification bell, comment below your favorite part of the video, subscribe if you're not already subscribed because I really need that, especially after playing this game on this channel. <laughs> so yeah, your support means a lot. And with that, I appreciate you helping out, and I hope you have a great, fantastic rest of your day. Thanks and take care.